First question is from Sally Spicer. What's the best way to train for pull-ups? I'd really like to be able to do a few without having to use an assisted pull-up machine, but don't know how to get there. Yeah, so the advice I'm going to give right now for getting better at pull-ups is applicable to any single movement or exercise that you really want to focus on and improve upon. So the old thought process was, well, I'm just going to make sure my back workouts that I do pull-ups first and that I progressively overload. So once or twice a week, I'm going to do pull-ups and and that'll work a little bit, but it's not nearly as effective as what I'm about to say. Practice pull-ups often. And when I say practice, I don't mean work out. So I don't mean you go and do a bunch of pull-ups to fatigue and get sore. What I mean is literally every single day do a few pull so let's say you're let's say you can max do 10 pull-ups let's say that's your total max amount let's of pull-ups. say even less than that i think it's probably yeah, less. a lot of times like you ask this question you can only do three. like three that's like fine two. so let's say you can only do three pull-ups well four or five times every day do one yeah mm -hmm. that's it literally put up a pull-up bar in your doorway and do one pull-up and then go about your day and then a few hours later do it and so you're practicing constantly this kind of lower to moderate intensity activity and what you'll find when you do this is you get really good, really strong, really fast. There's, I've done nothing more effective than this. Well, I'll, add, I'll add one more thing to that that it kind of blew my mind when I started to do this later on. I never thought – so I when I wanted to get better at pull-ups in the past, I used to do this thing where I started every workout with pull-ups, and I would just try and get as many as I could, and i just keep trying to add to that, right, and, and increase the frequency of how often. So it was like every start of every workout. Uh, that was a strategy. I, I never thought to do this, like when, especially when I was only able to do three to five pull-ups to load that. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, I'm only doing three to five. My goal is to get to ten or twenty or thirty. Why would I load three? Yeah. Uh, then what? So I can only do one. But boy, does that! I tell you what, if you if you can do three pull-ups, uh, just your body weight, but you can do maybe one loaded with twenty five pounds or more. Practicing with that every now and then, if you complement that to your increased frequency. So if I, in a perfect world, someone, their main goal is to do, get better at pull-ups. The first advice I'm giving is exactly what you said. Get a pull-up bar in your house. Every time you walk by the pull-up bar, jump up, do, you know, a few less than what you're total max normally is and do that multiple times per day every single day and it's not a workout you're practicing no that's it that's all you're doing you jump yeah. up if you're like you said if your max is three to five you jump up you do two real quick walk away right. mm -hmm. you know come back an hour later do it again and you just do that all the time right that's one piece and then the other piece would be when you go into the gym and it's actually maybe it's back day and you're actually training your your back i would actually start it with pull-ups and i would do it weighted i'd mm -hmm. do it weighted and if you can only do one it's okay do one rest for a solid two yep. minutes or whatever jump up do another single like that and get really strong with with resistance on those pull-ups and then cut the resistance after you've been doing that for a month or two and see see what happens yeah, yeah now it's a little difficult if if you can't even do one pull-up uh you know because I, I do think that that those are very you know applicable advice uh in terms of like frequency but um if they do have access to one of those machines where they can actually get assistance you know that that would help in terms of like you still want to add the frequency so whatever you can do with with like a bare minimum amount, amount of assistance, uh, you know, get a few reps, but do it, you know, consistently throughout the week. So that's something that you're teaching your body to get better at. And you're gradually, you know, bringing that pin up. So you do less and less, uh, you know, of that assistance help. Um, and also rubber bands. I would say bands are great yeah, yeah. for that as well. So here's something I did with, I had a client, a female client, very athletic. She never really did resistance training, but played a lot of sports. And then she, she said to me, when she hired me, I really want to be able to do at least six pull-ups. That was her goal. And at the moment, she couldn't even do one body weight pull-up. Now, she had big muscular legs, so she was like, a, you know, she had a decent amount of weight on her, lean, but still, it was challenging for her. So here's what we did, is I had her put a band, around, I had her get a pull-up bar, put it in her one of her doorways. She put a band around it so she could step on the band. It would assist her doing the pull-up. And then she, I told her to do one pull-up several times a day, every single day. And she said, well, what if I feel like I could do much more? What if I get stronger? I said, every week we'll reevaluate and add more, but I want you to start with one. I don't care how easy it feels. Mm -hmm. All week you're only doing one. The next week, so in other words, I didn't allow her to progressively overload right. until a whole week passed. Why? Because the frequency was so high that it would have been very easy for her to overdo it. Right. So all she was doing was just practicing one, one, one with this band. And then the next week we reevaluated, and then I put gave her a lighter band. I think it was like, no joke, I'm not making this up. I think it was like 30 or 45 days later, she was able to do 
five or six pull-ups, not even be able to do one. So that's a huge, yeah. very fast progression. But the key is low intensity, yeah. practice, don't work <laughs> out, and then don't progressively overload for a little while. Get really good at this easy practice for a week or two, then add a little bit of load, and then continue that frequency. You could, but you could do this with any exercise, by the way. Let's say you wanted to get really good at barbell squats. If you had a, a cage in your garage and you did the same thing, you went out there, did a couple reps, you know, three or four times every single day, uh, you know, low intensity, w your strength would explode on that as well. It's, it's a really, really good technique for improving strength quickly. Yeah, your body gets real good at it at a certain point.